Welcome to another video of Selfmade. Today, um, a taser. Very simple, very basic, but still, uh, as you can see, loud and uh, yeah, shocking. Uh, you can use that also for triggering uh, flamethrowers or, uh, you know, like my lighter flamethrower or just uh, as an igniter, whatever. And uh, yeah, let's see how it's made. Um, crash course for ignition coils, tiny selection up here. And this is from eBay. Those two pulse transformers, you can see them bigger than the others, uh, will work best. You can buy them on eBay too or in uh, stores online. Those two are tiny and made for uh, photo flash experiments and tiny flashlights. So. You can actually buy them in um, every uh, store that sells electronic parts, like Radio Shack, whatever. And uh, yeah, make sure when you buy it, uh, it can handle the 350 volts uh, coming from your disposable camera machine. And uh, yeah, the output, the higher, the better. And uh, yeah, short explanation, that's a spark cap on it. It says 350 volts, that's the uh, trigger voltage when 350 volts are reached. It will just trigger and release the uh, charge from the capacitor into the coil. Every time it reaches 350 volts, uh, you don't have to push uh, a trigger or sort together a timer. Just push the trigger and it will just uh, trigger and trigger and trigger as long as you push the, the button. And for my shocker, I use 230 volt spark gap um because the repetition rate is higher just um the higher the voltage technically you can uh choose uh 300 or 350 volt uh, spark gap it will create um stronger sparks arcs uh just not so many of them per second um yeah up to you so what we do now is uh mark the spot for the push button switch you just uh Take a knife, and one left and one right. Bit of hot glue, and we're good to go. For mounting the coil, you just punch, or you can also melt with a hot nail or something, or a hot screw, uh, melt or drill two tiny holes in the front, and just slide it in. Now you can just uh, put a tiny bit of solder to uh, hold it in place, plus some. Um, Hot glue. Not too hot. Don't melt the. Don't melt the uh, housing. And uh, yeah, next step. What I've learned: always act uh, as if you were short on space. So next thing, mounting the or soldering in the uh, spark gap. There in the corner. We will just do it from top to bottom. Yep. Now we got this. Minus.
plus. That's the input. And now we need to go from the spark gap to the trigger, uh, to the capacitor. So it will trigger itself when the capacitor is full. So that's the high voltage section. And that's actually about it. The rest is input. This one will go to the mention switch. <laughs> Last thing, the battery. And plus. First test. So that's how it should look like in the end. Up here the switch. Connects to the battery. Battery to circuit board. Circuit board to capacitor plus minus capacitor out to the spark gap and uh, spark gap to coil coil back to capacitor and uh, yeah if your coil doesn't have its own separated uh, minus output you just connect it to um, minus capacitor and run the wire up your coil that will do <laughs> yeah. A taser. And now I can try to um, find the optimal distance for the electrodes. Yep, another one. So that's it for today. Hope you liked it. Like it, share it, make it go around the world, and I see you next time.